So we are outdoor. We're going to do a beautiful barbecue view with chicken and prawn, lots of spices, and it's going to be healthy and delicious. So to start with, I've got chicken here, I've got prawns and I'm going to marinate it and I'm going to put them on the skewer with some vegetables and we're going to grill them easy. So let's start marinating the chicken and the prawns. So I will put about a tablespoon of salt. Sorry, it's a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of um, pepper. And here I've got crushed garlic, about a teaspoon of garlic in each. And here I've got cumin. I will put two teaspoons of cumin. Oh, it smells lovely. Okay, we've got lots of ingredients here and this is chili powder. It's not that hot, but we'll give it a bite. So it's how much you want really. I'm going to put like a teaspoon because it's not very hot. And here we got parsley. I'm using um, dry herbs because it's just very easy and it just blends easily with uh, the marination and it's not sticking out while you're grilling. So yeah, about a tablespoon in each and here I've got oregano and oregano I think is the best for uh, grilling so same a tablespoon and here I got thyme yeah I think thyme is my favorite favorite herbs of all here we have mint and I choose not to use um, dry mint to use fresh mint because Fresh mint is just absolutely smell divine. So what I did, I just grabbed the leaves and just crush it and uh, put a bit of water, make it a little bit of a paste. So I'm going to mix that like a tablespoon of mint. Wow, it smells lovely. And the final ingredient is olive oil. It tablespoon of olive oil and now I'm going to really mix them really well you can actually do this uh, the night before and it's um, it's better to marinate it like uh, for a half an hour to an hour in the fridge and uh, it tastes nice and better and the, the spices soak into the meat and the prawns so okay let's mix that oh la la look at this okay i've got this metal skew i think they are the best yeah so we're going to skew all the ingredient now first i'm putting the meat so i leave a bit of a gap and here i've got green pepper which i've cut into big chunks so that will go in and i've got this lovely mushroom here which i've cleaned so i'm putting them sideways as you could see here and i'm going to put a prone prone which is i'm going to do both sides here you see so it cook evenly and here this tomato is, is actually really delicious I've got the greener tomato here and I'm going to put two of these and the yellow tomato and I'm going to put one more piece of chicken okay I make sure I get all the way through and maybe one more pepper okay look at this I mean, this is beautiful. I mean, you can put anything you like, really. You can put courgette and you can do a vegetarian one.
guys I just want to share with you what's been on my heart lately and uh, feel very grieved really sad and and very upset so much hatred going on in our world that's really saddened me and to see you know people you know arguing with each other picking on each other and everybody has you know their own opinions which I completely agree and I think as human beings, we need to agree to disagree. We need to see that, you know, where is this coming from? You know, all this hatred going around and there is only one person that's really enjoying that. Fighting with each other, we need to see the background of it. It's the devil, the enemy. The Bible said, you know, the, the devil is like a roaring lion and he's looking, he's searching who he can kill, who he can steal and who he can destroy. And he's doing that right now, looking at the human being fighting with each other, killing innocent lives. I just want to tell you that that's not right. And we need to really have a spiritual warfare. And what does that mean? The Bible says, you know, we don't fight against flesh and blood. It's, it's in the spiritual warfare. What do, what you might say to me, what does that mean? This means we have to go on our knees as Christians and pray that God would heal our land. God would make our land better. How do we do that? And there is only one person that can do that, that can take the hate, the bitterness, the sadness, the brokenhearted, and his name is Jesus Christ. The Bible says, you know, we need to be born again. You think, oh, what does that mean? Do I go in my mother's womb and come out again and be born again? No, the Bible says we need to be born, born again of the Spirit. We need to renew our mind daily. So I want to tell you, there is no hope at all if we don't have Christ in our lives and I would want to challenge you and encourage you today God is is the only reason God is the only hope and he will heal our land if we give it to him if we surrender everything unto him and the problem is not the color of our skin the problem is with the heart we we just have this hate in our hearts but God can take that out God can put love so I just want to pray with you that if you don't have Christ in your life receive him and you can say to me what do I say all you need to say Jesus you died on the cross for me for my sin I believe that uh, you are alive you raise uh, God raised you from the dead and I receive you in my heart and and you forgive all my sin and I tell you I guarantee your life will never be the same again God will come and transform you your eyes will be open you would see things different and and pray with me that you know our eyes will be open that there will be revival in the midst of his darkness so Lord we pray that you heal our land you would open the hearts of of your people you will bring healing you will bring restoration we don't fight against human being we fight against the devil how we pray we see God's face so today make a choice to renew our mind to see God's face and God bless you this I think this is perfect. The grill is really hard and I'm so excited to just grill our meat. Come on. It's hot in here, baby. Really hot. Whoa. The trick is, is to keep turning it so it doesn't get burned, so it cooks evenly. Yeah, it's on high for the moment. So I'm going to lower it down after five minutes and then just keep turning. I think it will take seven to 10 minutes to cook. Guys, it's ready. The secret is keep turning, keep turning them so they don't get burnt. They cook evenly. I think they've been cooking about 12 to 15 minutes. And uh, you could see here, wow, look at this. It's a little bit burnt. I like it when it's burnt like that. 
all we've checked the chicken they've done I checked the prawns they're done and it smells divine here really beautiful okay let's taste okay let's try this one okay I'm going to try this lovely piece of chicken here oh so tender mmm that is so good so good all the spices especially the mint beautiful mm. it's so tender and moist because you know you need to keep turning slow flame keep on turning and voila mm. oh it's so good mm. and the pepper so crunchy Pepper is so crunchy. Cheers, mate. Mm. That is not a smile. That is so good. I have to say, I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> oh, give me, give me, give me. Oh.